Hey guys, it's me, starfox 275 again, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on classes, and I'm going to do a Java comparison, and compare C++ to Java. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to start off by making some type of math program that does solution, that does equations, kind of. Well, we're just going to make it like multiply, add, subtract, or do whatever, so... Um, so first off, we're gonna try and make it. We're gonna try and make a class. So to make a class, you just type class, and then you name it whatever you want. So I'm just gonna name it YouTube. And then you're gonna put the curly brackets here. And then you're gonna put public because we need it. We need our main function to be able to. What the heck? To be able to access it. Okay, so once we have that in public, we're just going to type, well, let's see, I'll make a method, because that's what a class is made of, it's just made up with a bunch of methods, so we're just going to type void, because we don't want our method to return any value, so we're just going to type void, and then we're going to give it a name, so our name is going to be get numbers. All right, so void get numbers, and then we'll. I think I'm gonna make it multiply. So we're just gonna make it multiply. So we need to define our variables. So let's see, variable sum product one and product two, prod two for short. All right. Then in here we're gonna type integer product one integer product two. All right. And then here we're just going to make it uh, some. We're just going to make it multiply some product one times product two. All right. And then we don't need to add a return statement or anything because it's void and it doesn't return any value. All right. So once we have that, I'm going to go down here and going to start making all the stuff that pops up. So we're going to make it say, please enter a number, All right? I'm going to keep it on the same line here, so let's type CN, and we're going to save it into product. Let's just make a variable called A, and then here we want to type in, no, actually, we're just going to say, make it the same kind, so integer product 1 and product 2 and then C in product 2 and then C out please enter another number ok then you type C in uh, product product 2 except don't put uh, quotes because that will just make it a string all right, don't want that there. Um. Oh yeah. Okay. So another thing to a class. Whenever you define a class, you have to have an object. So our object will just be. I'm just gonna call it. How about. We'll just call it. Me. There. And then add a semicolon in the back to end the line. All right. So our object is called Star Fox. Now, here's the thing you've probably, this is probably mostly the thing that you're going to use mostly in programming. Um, if you see this a lot in many programs, it's because it's quite popular to use, because it's quite efficient and it's really good, um, a good programming habit to um, take. So we're just going to say starfox dot get numbers. And then end the line. And then here we're going to type product 1 and product 2. Okay. And so what that does is the input that we took from from whenever it says please enter the, f the first number, it takes the input and puts it. Oh my gosh, I hate that. It puts it into that variable 
which whenever you put two numbers in it just puts them into uh, whatever this is it gives it to the function and then the function just uh, does whatever you type in there so like we're multiplying it and then we're moving it to another variable which is sum and then that sum uh, we're gonna have another method here that and the integer is we want it to return a value that an integer can hold so that integer will be get sum and then so all we want to do is just get sum it just returns it just whenever we call it, it just returns the value sum so whenever um, it's called it just return just means it just shows the value of sum so it'll just show the the, the number that sum is holding right now so yeah um and then so starfox.get numbers and then we'll type c out uh, the answer is yep and star fox dot get get sum and so what that'll do is just in line here that'll just give back the sum number okay so if we run that hopefully no errors yep and then here it says please enter a number so we enter a number so we'll just type six please enter another number and just type three and then it multiplies it and it gives back the number 18 so you so you notice that uh, it multiplies it gives it the sum right here and then returns the sum because we put the return statement the return keyword and it gives it back in here all right so that's good. And then, so now, let me just exit out of this. I'm going to give you uh, a comparison between C and Java. So exit out of this. All right. So the thing we're going to do in here is well, haven't you already noticed? If you haven't, um, practically Java already uses class. So every if you already start Java, you were practically were doing classes and you were probably working with them you just haven't known it yet and so a class is practically what it sounds like it's just a bunch of files if you're working in Java so in Java it's this is just this, this this is a class right here it's just this file that you're working in and so if you want to make a method just type public static void name void again because we don't want it to return any statement this is just the main statement just like in here it's just main it's it's the original the first thing that it's going to execute whenever it compiles okay so in here add curly brackets and so let's see i'm going to make the same program again i'm going to make a calculator okay um we're just going to do a short java tutorial this right here is how to output a line like I'll show you so we're just gonna type hello world save it run it okay that's weird yeah Well, that is really weird. Well, I'm, I'm just going to build a new project file. It's a project name. New to tutorial. Finish. And then we're going to make a new class. And this class is just going to be you to tut. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. Okay. Now it should work. We're gonna type system dot out dot print line. Ooh, that's nasty. Okay. Hello world. Alright. That's pretty good. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh ha ha ha. I just realized something. 
Don't forget to add your method or else don't think you're crazy. Alright. Now run it. So run. Why is it doing this? That's weird. It's not supposed to be running this. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, this is awkward. Hmm. Well, I'm going to refresh it real quick. Okay. Sorry about that. It should work now. No, it's still not working. Why is it running an applet? I don't want it to run an applet. Huh. There we go. Oh, aha, uh -huh. I, I know now. I forgot to put string. Whoops, haha, <laughs> that's kind of awkward. All right. There, sorry, I forgot to put that. All right, and, yep, yeah, sorry, gotta run it again. There, so now it just outputs hello world. So that's just that just outputs a line okay but to get input you're gonna want import and java dot util dot scanner okay. and in order to do this you're just gonna have to type scanner I'm gonna name it scan there equals new scanner system dot in yeah okay and so what's what it's gonna do is now we're just, we're gonna start typing everything oh yeah and we're gonna dip, we're gonna make a new class this is starting a new thing that we're gonna show you I'm gonna show you the class in Java so I think I'm going to call a class hmm, U2 with a capital Y and a capital D. U2, U2 star fox equals new U2. Okay, and then you just leave this empty. And so we're defining a new class here, which I got to make. So, and it made a new file, so now we can start putting stuff in here. And now, oh, these aren't missing. Okay, there we go. So now it created a new and created a new class with the object that we're gonna refer to it as called Star Fox. Okay. So now I'm gonna make the same program now. Please enter a number. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to put, um, I'm going to make it an integer. And this is like, this is like the CN that what I'm doing, what I'm going to show you right now is practically the CN thing in C++. So we're making a new variable and it's going to be called product1 equals scanner which is our scanner, our input dot next line which tells us to save the next line oh wait, next, not next line, next integer, sorry. So 
the integer on the next line, the number on the next line. And then so we're gonna take that and then it says system dot out dot print line again. And this time I'm gonna say please enter another number. And then we're gonna put another integer which is called product two equals scanner dot next integer. Yeah, okay. So then we're gonna put uh, put star fox dot get numbers. Okay. But then it makes a new method. Okay, I forgot to tell you one thing. So this is the object right here, the object that we made to refer to the class. And then this is the method right here. So object method. The method so the method is right here, dot is get numbers. And so we're gonna make numbers product two. No, product one, sorry. An integer and product two. Alright. And then it's just gonna be sum equals product one times product two. When we can enter. And actually, it's going to be public. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We're just going to delete that. And then here, we're just going to put public integer sum. All right. So that makes it public, which means it can be used all throughout the class. Okay. Now then, we don't need to add a return statement because this is void and it doesn't return anything. And so once it does that, we want it um, to give back the numbers. So we're going to call it system.out.print line. And if you've been paying attention, that means we're going to output a string again. It says the answer is... But instead of the arrows, we're going to put a plus sign this time. And then starfox.get sum. And then we're gonna since we don't have a method in this in our our YouTube.java class, make a new public integer string. All it's gonna do is it's just going to return sum. It's just gonna return this the value of the sum. So just the number that holds in there. And what's this? I don't want a string. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, we forgot that. You forgot that. Oh, uh, we forgot to add the uh, values in there. So yeah, like that. All right, looks good. Please enter a number. We're just gonna type ten. Then five. And then so it just outputs the answer is 50. So yeah. So if you notice anything, uh, hold on, let me run it first. So I'm going to show you real quick. See a resemblance between them? It's just, it's practically the same thing. It's just Java is kind of simpler to use and then C++ it uses shorter uh, keywords and statements and everything, but it's the same thing. So yeah, that's it guys. Um, I hope you learned something in the classes. And if you do, you can like my videos and I'll subscribe and um, visit my website. It's in the description below.